This is the domino magic rectangle problem. I have made a game that uses dominoes and magic squares. So, how do we play this game? There, right now there are two players, but this player, but the number of players can extend up to four players. So, the player one takes a domino from here any random domino and places it anywhere on the board. So suppose player 1 takes this domino and places it over here. Now player 2 will also do the same. Now let us see the objective. As the game progresses the rows, columns and diagonals will get more filled. When, when at some point we will have like three or four in a three or four dominoes in a row, column or diagonal, then the players can start thinking of how to make every row, every column and every diagonal sum 30. Like right now, this row has 8 and this column also has 8. This row has 6 and this column ha also has 6. Now, player 1 take any other domino and place it anywhere on the board because until the board gets slightly filled up we will have to play some random moves. I have played 5 over here. Now I can look at this row. The sum is 10 plus 8 is 18. This in these two blocks I need to get 12. Is this my turn? No, it's my turn. Okay. So, if I play 10 over here, then the opponent will play 2 over here and get points for this row. Because each row and each column gives the player who completes it 10 points. So, I will, I will wait till the other player plays something over here in order to get something else and then I will play over here and get 10 points. So let me look somewhere else. I'm playing 9 over here. So now if you can see this row has become slightly heavy because it is 12 plus 11 is equal to 23 plus 7 is equal to 30. So I choose to remove this block. Now, I can play a very small block over here in order to kind of balance it. Because we have two very heavy blocks and one very small block. Okay, now now let me look at this one. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. 16 plus 6 is equal to 22. I can play 8 over here. And yes, I got 10 points for this column. So, this, there, there are scorecards for each player. Player 1 and player 2 in this case. So, in my scorecard... I'm going to write 10 because I earned 10 points for this column. Now, let us uh, fill up the board a little bit more. 9, okay. So now I'm going to look at this one. 9, 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. 17 plus 5 is equal to 22. 22 plus 9 is equal to 31. 
this row is a bit over. So I chose to remove this block. Okay. So now I can even look at diagonals because diagonals can actually cost me more points. One diagonal, if you if you complete one diagonal, you get 20 points. So this diagonal is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. Now we we'll have to put the heaviest blocks and because this row 11, we need 19 over here. And if you can see the greatest values over here, 10 and maybe 8 will give me only 18. So I choose to remove this block which can be placed later in this diagonal. Now let me look at this one. 4, 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 10 is 27. So, I can place a 3 block over here and get 10 more points for this column. Your turn, player 1. Now, I can look at this diagonal. 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18, 18 plus 8 is 26. So now I can place a 4 block over here and get 20 points for this diagonal. Now let's say the game continues to such an extent that a player can place a domino anywhere on this board and the board gets completed which means all the rows, all the columns and all the diagonals total 30. And when a player completes the board that player gets 50 points. After a player gets 50 points and the board is completed the game ends and each player tallies his or her scores. The player who has the most points at the end of the game wins. Thank you.